Right, we've uh, got the 7-7 seven, seven in the workshop, took the deer off the front, we're de it. Um, but we're we'll going to be in a bit more organised this year. So every tractor's going to have its own bag and we're going to put them in rather than boxes and tangle them all together. We're going to put them all in, this, in this, a bag, take the batteries out of them so that they don't corrode. And next year it should be a simpler task putting them back together. That's the plan anyway. Andrew's just cleaning out Jamie's 7-7 seven, because seven, it's... Uh, Said it was minging. Is that clean now? We can sell it. We lost this pin off the linkage of the 7.7. So we're going to put it back on now. Been in the Yaris for about six months anyway. Andrew wants to try me wellies on as well because he's a size 10. Because he wants to put wellies. Do they fit? You can undo the top so you can get your pants in easier. Little fat calves. <laughs> Good, aren't they? Comfy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that goes on there. That's a funny, funny lynch pin. It's like a key ring, it like waggles in, wraps around. Impossible with one hand, though, to be honest. It was bad enough with one hand, it's with two hands, it's pretty fiddly that. Anyway, that's better now. Hello. Andrew's testing out the light bar on his head. You get lost in that. Turn, turn the other one on. That's that. That's like a band, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? It's right then. Totally bendy though, isn't it? That's Mad the, uh... that. There's a light, aren't they? Yeah. 7-7, seven, seven, done, stripped, checked, over. I can go back in the shed and I'll start another one now. Got this out. No pigeons again. It's amazing. We wanted to get the sprayer out. It's going to move some fertiliser around. Take the lights off that. Take the lights off this class. Unfortunately, someone had left uh, the ignition on or turned the wrong way for the last week. So it's completely draining the battery. So we just... Um, doesn't want to start. Put the jump back on, but the battery's just killing it because it's sucking all the power in. So we're just going to... Take the battery around and put it on charge. Put our little battery on now to start it. Take it around to the workshop, put the other one on charge. Right in there, so we don't lose it. Uh, this is the size of the battery off it. It's absolutely massive. Another one stripped off. I think it took us about 45 minutes, two of us, to get everything off it. Just the stickers now on the door. But they come off best with the jet wash. But the jet wash isn't working at the moment. All these are off as well. They just twist and come off. Right, there's some pigeons on the roof there, so let's see. There we go. So you just got to get it in their eye, haven't you? Sort of works. Andrew's going to take the Bateman round and take the lights off that as well. Got this trailer on. You see it's starting to grow. So this is some really old barley. It's two years old and we were keeping it in case we needed it for seed because it's spring barley. Anyway, we found that it's got some weevils in it and they've been climbing out the trailer so we don't want them getting into the other piles of grain. So we're just going to ditch it and put it through the boiler. But I'll show you what they've done. If you look, see how the grain, some of it's got little hollows in it. Try to find one here that's been hollowed out. There you go. That one there. See the hole in the end of it? And it focuses. And then it's just, it's just chaff now. There's no flour left in it. They've eaten it all, if you look. See? So, that's one there, climbing out. So we're just going to put this as boiler fuel. We'll see how it's growing, that's because they've they're eaten it and heated it up. It's a soft tyre as well, so I'm going to blow the tyre up on the trailer. And we've obviously borrowed the fitting for something as well, so we'll get fitted on it and tip it. Oh no, we haven't, that's a brake fitting, that's the actual tra tipping trailer fitting. See there where they've climbed out and died with the cold weather? Yeah, we're just going to back in the boiler. 
tip it in with the wood chip and then basically incinerate the barley and the bugs to get rid of them is the best method. The advantage is rather than the trailer is more in the roof. See how they've been like, made it damp, where they've been, see it's warmed up, where they've been living in it, it's like sweated, condensated against the trailer, obviously when we had that cold weather. This is where the trailer was parked, and if you look, they're all dead, little bugs, where they've climbed out the trailer, and then got cold and the, and the weather had killed uh, the cold weather had killed them but it's pretty disgusting that's what your uh, your bug proteins grown out of I think the worry is that they could adventure across into that pile at the back which is obviously nice barley but as a precaution when we've got the time we're going to throw that through the dryer and clean it anyway just to make sure because we don't want any living in that and starting to eat that Andrew's just unclipping the 8 million cable ties that Jeff put on the Bateman. I think we might leave these on for now though. I've got to cable tie this light up as well because we put the blue lights underneath, didn't we, to, to light the chassis. So I uh, need to put redo them cable ties, this cable. That's the cable tie back on. <laughs> Andrew's still chipping away at the cable ties up there working out we kind of need to move all that fertilizer for when we open this shed so that we can lift the door up anything that flows out to the concrete block and doze it into there because we've got some osr going out next week but the problem is the stuff that's what we call abated with the coating on at the back of the shed which is great because that's what we'll use last but if you imagine we move all this out now then we'll end up with the stuff at the back then at the front so then it'll be in the way of this stuff so we're just trying to work out how easy it is to try and put it in two rows in the other shed or do we just have to um, move it twice, basically? Lift this out, get the far stuff out, put it in the back of the shed, then put this back in front of it. We're just emptying out this bay now, so we can fill it with fertilizer. So off we go now. We've got, um, I think there's 144-ish just in that bay there, plus what's in the other shed. Andrew's just putting the loops on, on the top of the pile getting them off the top of this pile and then going in the other shed and putting them on the top of the other pile but well, it's bleeping a little bit because we've got quite a bit of weight on there's 600 kilos in each bag four bags 2.4 ton i like this bag lifter but i think the bars on the sides are too long you probably want like a couple of inches cutting off them because you kind of have to go on a bit of an angle because you can't get them to the side i can understand that when you've got four one ton bags that it'll be to the edge but I just feel I feel it's probably a little bit too big or maybe we should make them detachable perhaps like put pins in I oh, know you'd make it sharp unless the pins went in the top have it adjustable that bar perhaps so Harry has come all the way from Australia and he's going to do the birthday bumper so off you go Harry Read it up the Dave Hill Grace Bell Jamie Harry Redgate Helen Stibbons. Stibbons, I think. Stibbons. And, and Dan. Dan there we go. £21,324 raised for the Air Ramblers. Absolutely amazing. Happy birthday, everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday it is. I'm on one Merlot. Andrew's on the other one. We're moving a little bit quicker now. Anyway, Harry, who just did the birthday bumper, his neighbour, they have a farm with some cows, but the neighbour has 150, 150 square kilometres. The farm is that big that they have to use a helicopter to get to the side of it. And then another guy that his dad plays cricket with, 
his farm is because Australia's that big. He used to fly fly five hours to, on a Saturday to play cricket and then fly five hours back. It might be small, but it's mighty. This mini Merlot is probably one of the best things I've ever bought. And it was a little bit of an impulse buy because remember we had that little Wackanoosen thing on demo and it was great, but it couldn't quite lift enough. So then we, well, I just decided that I needed one. So we bought that one, it's absolutely brilliant. So we're just getting to the back of the shed now. You can see the green bag. So that's what's called a baited. So it's got a little coating on it. So if you apply it in warm weather, it won't release, won't release ammonia. So we use that later on in the season. We'll use the other stuff in the white bags first. But the annoying thing is, is this was in the back of the shed, which was great. So we could have used all the white bags and the green stuff was at the back. But because we need this shed for putting OSR in, we have to shuffle it all around. And now this is going to end up at the front of the other shed, unless we put it somewhere else out the way for now and then move it. So either way, we're going to have to double handle it, which is an absolute pain. Anyway, we'll get that top row of white ones out. And then there's five left here, a couple outside that we were ripped, that we've taped up. So we'll put them in last so they get used first. See how they've been taped up there. They've caught the pillar as they've been put in, you see. I think it's time to put the lights on. There we go, last bag coming out of the shed now. That is, a, I think there's 180 bags in there, just short of 100,000 pounds worth as well. Last year, it would have been about 40,000 pounds worth. And the year before that, probably 30,000 pounds worth, perhaps. A little bit of flood on the field because we've had 20 mil of rain over the last few days. Time to put the Bateman back on the drying floor now from the fertiliser. Keeps it chill off it because there's a little bit of heat in there just in case we get any more frost tonight. Sun setting, sun setting on this video. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, don't forget to click like. Also, as well, I forgot to say the quiz question the other day. Them horns that you can air uh, horns, eight of them that you can put on a on a yacht. 27,000 pound so nearly as dear as fertilizer actually quickly there's a quiz question for today what's that i think you know leave a comment below should we uh, make these next year